Hello and welcome back to the BFG. So we are on the chapter The Royal Breakfast and this is what was happening at the end of the last session. So the butler has just delivered the BFG with his breakfast and we are wondering what he's going to make of it after eating snozcumbers all his life. What is this, please, your majesty? The BFG asked, peering down at the Queen. He's never eaten anything except snozcumbers before in his life, Sophie explained. They taste result revolting. They don't seem to have stunted his growth, the Queen said. The BFG grabbed the garden spade and scooped up all the eggs, sausages, bacon and potatoes in one go and shoveled them into his enormous mouth. By goggles, he cried, this stuff is making snills come to taste like swatch work. The Queen glanced up, frowning. Mr Tibbs looked down at his toes and his lips moved in silent prayer. That was only one titchy little white, the, the BFG said. Is you having any more of that delongtuous rubble in your cupboard, Magister? Tibbs, the Queen said, showing true regal hospitality, fetch the gentleman another dozen fried eggs and a dozen sausages. Mr Tibbs swam out of the room muttering unspeakable words to himself and wiping his brow with a white handkerchief. The BFG lifted the huge jug and took a swallow. Ah! He cried, blowing a mouthful across the ballroom. Please, what is this horrible swig, pink swig pill I is drinking, Magister? It's coffee, the Queen told him, freshly roasted. It's filthsome, the BFG cried. Where is the frob scuttle? The what? the Queen asked. The lunctuous frob, fizzy frob scuttle, the BFG answered. Everyone must be drinking frob scuttle with breakfast, Magister. Then we can all be whiz popping happily together. What does that mean? The Queen said, frowning at Sophie. What is fizz, fizz whopping? Sophie kept a straight face. BFG, she said, there is no frob scuddle here, and whiz popping is strictly forbidden. What? cried the BFG. No frob scuddle, no whiz popping, no glumptuous music, no boom, boom, boom. Absolutely not. The BFG told him firmly. If he wants to sing, please don't stop him, the Queen said. He doesn't want to sing, Sophie said. He said he wants to make music, the Queen went on. Shall I send for a violin? No, Your Majesty, Sophie said. He's only joking. A sly little smile crossed the BFG's face. Listen, he said, peering down at Sophie. If they isn't having any frog scuttle here in the palace... I can still go whiz popping perfectly well without it if I was trying hard enough. No, cried the, cried Sophie. Don't, but not do I beg you. Music is very good for digestion, the Queen said. When I'm in Scotland, they play the bagpipes outside the window while I'm eating. Do play something. I have her Majesty's permission, cried the BFG, and all at once he let fly with a whiz popper that sounded as though a bomb had exploded in the room. The queen, the, the queen jumped. Whoopee, shouted the BFG. That is better than bagelpipes, is it not, Majesty? It took the Queen a few seconds to get over the shock. I prefer the bagpipes, the Queen said. But she couldn't stop herself smiling. During the next 20 minutes, a whole relay of footmen were kept busy hurrying to and from the kitchen, carrying third helpings and fourth helpings and fifth helpings of fried eggs and sausages for the ravenous and delighted BFG. When the BFG had consumed his 72nd fried egg, Mr Tips sidled up to the Queen. He bent low from the waist and whispered in her ear. Jeff sends his apologies, Your Majesty, and he says he has no more eggs in the kitchen. What's wrong with the hens? The Queen said. What's wrong with the hens, Your Majesty? The Mr. Tips whispered. Then tell them to lay more, the Queen said. She looked up at the BFG. 
have some toast and marmalade while you're waiting, she said She said to him. The toast is finished, Mr Tibbs whispered, and Chef says there's no more bread. Tell him to bake some more, the Queen said. While all this was going on, Sophie had been telling the Queen everything, absolutely everything, about her visit to Giant Country. The Queen listened appalled. When Sophie had finished, the Queen looked up at the VFG, who was sitting high above her. He was now eating a sponge cake. Big friendly giant, she said, last night those man-eating brutes came to England. Can you remember where they were the night before? The BFG put a whole round sponge cake into his mouth and chewed it slowly while he thought about this question. Yes, Magister, he said, I do think I was remembering where, where they said they was going the night before last. They was galloping off to Sweden for the Sweden sour taste. Fetch me a telephone, the Queen commanded. Mr Tibbs placed the instrument on the table. The Queen lifted the receiver. Get me the King of Sweden, she said. Good morning, the Queen said. Is everything all right in Sweden? Everything is terrible, the King of Sweden answered. There is panic in the capital. Two nights ago, 26 of my loyal subjects disappeared. My whole country is in panic. Your 26 loyal subjects were all eaten by giants, the Queen said. Apparently they like the taste of Swedes. Why do they like the taste of Swedes, the King asked. Because the Swedes of Sweden have a sweet and sour taste, so says the BFG, the Queen said. I don't know what you're talking about, the King said, growing testy. It's hardly a joking matter when one's loyal subjects are being eaten like popcorn. They've eaten mine as well, the Queen said. Who's they, for heaven's sake? The, king's, the King asked. Giants, the Queen said. Look here, the King said. Are you feeling all right? Uh, it's been a rough morning, the Queen said. First I had a horrid nightmare, then the maid dropped my breakfast. Now I've got a giant on the piano. You need a doctor quick, cried the King. I'll be all right, the Queen said. I must go now. Thank you for your help. She replaced the receiver. Your BFG is right, the Queen said to Sophie. Those nine man-eating brutes did go to Sweden. It's horrible, Sophie said. Please stop them, Your Majesty. I'd like to make one more check before I go out, well, before I call out the troops, the Queen said. Once more, she looked up at the BFG. He was up eating donuts now popping them into his mouth ten at a time like peas. Think hard, BFG, she said. Where did those horrid giants say they were galloping off to three nights ago? The BFG fought long and hard. Ha ha, he cried at last. Yes, I is remembering. Where, said the Queen. One was off to Baghdad, the BFG said. As they is galloping past my cave, Fleshlon Peter is waving his arms and shouting at me, I is off to Baghdad. Once more, the Queen lifted the receiver. Get me the Lord Mayor of Baghdad, she said. If they don't have a Lord Mayor, get me the next best thing. In five seconds, a voice was on the line. Here is the Sultan of Baghdad speaking, the voice said. Listen, Sultan, the Queen said. Did anything unpleasant happen in your city three nights ago? Every every night unpleasant things are happening in Baghdad, the Sultan said. I want to know if anyone has disappeared recently in Baghdad. Only my uncle, and um, the Sultan said. He disappeared from his bed three nights ago together with his wife and ten children. There you are, cried the BFG, whose wonderful ears enabled him to hear what the Sultan was saying to the Queen on the, on the telephone. Flesh and Peter did that one. He went off to Baghdad to bag all those little kiddles. The Queen replaced the receiver. That proves it, she said, looking up at the BFG. Your story is apparently quite true. Summon the head of the army and the head of the air force immediately. And there we have it. So, the plan has worked so far um i'm still surprised at just how um 
welcoming and accommodating the queen was to the giant um and how generous she was to give him so much food he almost ate everything in their kitchen and now she she was very very um clever about it she made sure um that the story was true in the other countries as well and now she summoned the army and the air force i wonder why she summoned the army and the air force and what are they going to do and how are they going to help we don't really even know where giant country is the next chapter is called the plan so maybe there's going to be another plan can you predict what's going to happen how are they going to stop these giants we will see you next time